welcome. This video includes several topics about the light of love and love's consciousness. There are several shorter videos on the playlist about love's light. Here, I include some of that information and much more. If you've watched earlier videos, you may see two or three minutes of this video that are familiar. The topics about love's light here include honesty, the ability to expand and purify vision and consciousness, love light's ability to reveal wisdom and create confidence, and how love's light dissolves fear. First, I'm going to share a passage from the website and then break it down into practical pieces. Quote, as love's light radiates from your heart, greater truth illuminates your conscious awareness, dissolving imperfection. Love's wisdom purifies vision and consciousness. Love's wisdom creates confidence. Here, fear dissolves. Love's connections create unity. Now harmony is revealed." End quote. Love's light takes away the darkness that was letting people sleep in fear. Waking up into love's light means waking up into a new awareness and a new consciousness. Seeing through the light of love brings a consciousness more aware of love and unity. In this awareness, we know protection and joy. This consciousness provides endurance to continue in seemingly impossible situations. It provides wisdom to understand that physical circumstance is only part of the picture, and the total picture may be paradoxical to what appeared to be true. One example of this is what we call a blessing in disguise. So look with eyes of love into life. Use the consciousness of love's unity. Here there is no judgment, and you can trust that love's desires that live in your heart are coming into fruition. Whether you are in a time of trouble or joy, look with the consciousness of love and not of fear. Look beyond the limited context of physical circumstance and broaden your context to see a world illuminated in love's light. See the grand scheme of all possibilities yet to be chosen from. Let your decisions be inspired and guided by the sight from love. These decisions will bring forth clarity and evidence for increased understanding of the larger truth. Don't limit your life to anything less. So what does it mean to say that love's light radiates greater truth into conscious awareness? Well, when you find yourself in the midst of what seems to be a dark time, it may seem that all light has disappeared. But you know the truth, light makes darkness disappear. If you think you need more light and more awareness and truth than you see, don't allow fearful thoughts to darken your perception. Fear's lies are blinding, and the truth is that you have all the light you need. You can access it from your heart. Love's light can illuminate the next best step to take in any situation. Love's light is always turned on, and shutting our eyes in fear does not make light disappear. We need to open our eyes and open our hearts. Each moment that we are willing to trust love's consciousness, we step deeper into love's greater context of peace and unity. When the, st when the stars shine light, their energy radiates throughout the whole solar system. When you radiate your love light in and through your life, this power reaches all the lives that you're connected to, all of life. But when you allow anything to interrupt love from flowing in and through your consciousness and your life, then false illusions of darkness and powerlessness will appear. Apparent darkness is a signal to you to become more aware of light. Light is always available to us always available to you. Trust that when you use love's consciousness to bring light into what appeared to be darkness, you will see the purpose for the apparent darkness. There's a purpose. Love's potential is beyond what we know here and now.
We must become aware of the limit of what we know, our darkness. This darkness is not to be feared. It is to be embraced as a sign to look out further into the unknown until we see ourselves in love's light. You're already embedded into the light of love's consciousness and love's unity. Find yourself there. You are already embedded in it. Find yourself. You may have graduated to a new horizon of consciousness and understanding, and it may take time to adjust to the new frequency of light available to you. So it might feel uncomfortable. You may even fear that something went wrong, but consider this. When the moon is between the earth and the sun, we cannot see the light of the sun on the moon at night, even though we know the sun is still shining. We call this the new moon. Have you outgrown an old understanding of the world? Are your old ideas blocking love's light from illuminating a greater context for your life? Is there darkness revealing it is time for your new moon, your new horizon? You may see a dark and lonely night, but look out further to see a night full of bright stars. Looking further into a greater context brings greater understanding, and greater understanding transforms the experience of darkness and suffering into purpose and wisdom. Understand who you are in a larger context transcend the darkness. Let greater trust shine its energy into your life. Reflect this light back onto your life, and this is your full moon. I know it's a bit of a, mix, bit of a mixed metaphor, but it kind of works. One of love's lights is trust. Sometimes you can't see what you think you need to see. And at these times, what you really need to see is trust to light your way. When you plant a seed, you don't demand that there be evidence of it growing in order to trust that it is, or evidence of future blossoms to believe that it will bear fruit. Time is a factor, and time may be a factor in evidence coming forward. When you don't see the evidence that you think you need to see, there may be an unknown factor involved, or you may need to identify any blinders in your way, such as fear, distrust, or judgment. These keep you from trusting love's light. Don't put your trust in these blinders. They limit your ability to trust love, especially when you can't see the fruit of love yet. Now realize that the ability to see and trust love's light is the greatest fruit. The ability is the greatest fruit. Look out at the starlight. Understand the world is so much bigger than anything you can see or imagine. Think about the sunrise. It is beautiful, not because we get to see it all at once, but because the earth slowly turns, revealing the sun's radiant light to us in its own perfect timing. The shift from darkness to light is a time of waiting. Don't get lost in the suffering or stuck in despair. Darkness is seen when we are not yet able to see the larger context. And it is seen, the larger context is seen through love's consciousness. As we wait in trust, we can feel this radiant light of love rising up in us using us to shine light for all to see the larger picture. We can offer patience and grace and hope, wisdom, tenderness, compassion, forgiveness, and so much more to unify the world. In this divine space, your life becomes a light to illuminate infinite possibilities for all to know the love of self, of others, and of unity. What does it mean to say love's light expands and purifies consciousness and awareness? Well, when you think you're having a crisis, do you wonder how it may change your life in ways that evolve you? Do you consider how this moment may transform and amplify your learning, your service, and your love in the world? Or do you limit yourself to suffering as if it's the end of the story? 
using love's light, integrate the present experience with the evolution that is still hidden. Harmonize your physical knowledge with spiritual knowledge for a greater context and a greater consciousness. This will give you a more thorough understanding of your life. Richard Bach says, quote, what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly, end quote. How do we, why do we have to be like the caterpillar? Why do we have to have stages in life when we don't appear able to fly, when we have to ingest every bit of healthy encouragement just to function, when we feel heavy hearts, when we can't see beyond what is near to us? Being a caterpillar is the necessary nourishing stage of eating and growing for the butterfly. For humans, we eat reality to become humble about our brain's limits. Our love's powerful awareness cannot operate without our humility. We have to develop humility, wisdom, and courage. We must learn the limits of our brain's perspectives. When we learn of our heart's love light and our heart's ability to evolve our minds, then we learn that we are free from any traps of anger or hopelessness or fear, no matter the circumstances. We can experience the power that comes from an even deeper understanding of love's light in what appeared to be dark places. When we depend on love to illuminate each beneficial step in life, we evolve through all circumstances and we become butterflies. Now the butterfly did not think its way from caterpillar to butterfly. If anything, it trusted and allowed the transformation. The butterfly flies and expands life. It creates life and it plays with other butterflies. It colonizes new areas with fresh plants, and it migrates long distances to escape freezing winters. This, sh this shift and migration in context of life from caterpillar to butterfly is the responsibility of each of us. You can live and die as a limited caterpillar, or you can evolve to fly as a beautiful butterfly. Let your heart's love Light, inform, and transform your consciousness. Create and play. Colonize new areas with fresh ideas. Expand the territory of your love. Escape the illusion that you're isolated. Be wise. Let your light shine on the courage to evolve your mind. We have more light and courage than we know. Now, butterflies were caterpillars. Butterflies create caterpillars, and butterflies do not judge caterpillars. All people are on a life journey. Some are more like caterpillars, some are more like butterflies. All are necessary to the process of creating unity and harmony. When we, when we encounter someone who seems to limit our ability to fly, it's actually our judgment limiting us. We must get out of our own way, let go of seeing limit, see and seize this opportunity. Shine love's light onto the other person or onto the other people or into the situation. They may be in the necessary eating and growing stage, the caterpillar. Give them encouragement, not judgment. Be patient as they crawl. Someday they may join you and play with you in flight, but for now, you live in two different worlds, crawling and flying, having two almost totally different vantage points about the world and about world context. Now remember that to someone else, each of us appears to be a caterpillar. Thankfully, they are a butterfly who is already full of wisdom and patience encouraging us. Now, evolve into the wiser butterfly. This migration from stage to stage does require adjustment. It puts more of love's light into our eyes and more of love's sound 
into our ears. It puts more of love's taste onto our tongues and love's touch deeper into our skin. We must learn how to use love's wings to fly when we didn't even know we would have wings. Put love's fragrance into your nose and interpret the whole world through these new senses. Now, what does it mean that love's light shines wisdom and creates confidence? Well, the world seen through the eyes of love is a different world than the world seen through the eyes of the ego. The ego contains fear, force, arrogance, and limitation. And when left alone without love's wisdom, the ego sees a world of darkness. Trust love's wisdom and love's spirit. Trust and see the existence of a larger context and a larger consciousness always unfolding for you. Sense the peace beyond your brain's understanding. Love is dependable. It's honest, it's humble, it's courageous, and it has access to more truth than our brains can understand. Love's strength is powerful and gentle. This transcendent, peaceful power that comes from love supersedes any other focus for power. It takes priority over the limited ideas of physical, emotional, or financial power. Although this peaceful power surpasses our brain's understanding, it can become our primary experience in every situation when we put our confidence in love's light and let love's wisdom inform our brains. Let love's wisdom, unity, consciousness inform our brains. Peaceful power has already been created. It already exists within you. It needs only to be discovered. Let love's light shine into your understanding of who you are. Let it evolve your awareness and your consciousness. See yourself through eyes of pure love. The spirit of love is alive in you and it lights your way. To understand your life in the larger context, understand information and circumstance without fear. Don't use fear. Fear gets used. Don't use it. Let love's light wash away anxiety and despair and shine light into what you think or thought was darkness. Now, in a letter written 2,000, approximately 2,000 years ago, a man named John wrote to some people in Philippi, Greece, and he wrote, quote, This is the message which we have heard from God and declare to you that God's spirit is light and in this spirit is no darkness at all, end quote. Using this light, we must input the physical information into a larger context. The bits of information our physical senses provide is limited. The larger context, the, 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 the larger the context that we seek or that we want to see, the more that love's light is required in order to see it. If you shine a little flashlight, you will see into the darkness. If you turn on an overhead light, you can light up a room. If the sun is shining, then lesser lights are dissolved into the illumination and the darkness is no longer a factor. Your physical senses are like the flashlight or the light bulb or night vision goggles or any inorganic technology. They're useful, but they're limited. Your love's light is like the sun revealing all full of power, illumination, and eternal energy. Do not use fear. Uh, to, uh, fear creates shadows. It gets in the way of the light that is there. Trust love's light to bring the desires of your heart, your love's purposes, into fruition. Your desires and purposes go beyond what your mind can fathom. One purpose fulfilled leads to another. They're all always unfolding. Using love, determine each step. And doing this provides the safety that we crave. As love is expended, it grows. 
don't use fear because as fear is expended, it also grows and it creates confusion and illusion. Use love's wisdom to choose your steps clearly and safely. So how does love's light dissolve fear? Well, what you believe you see determines your attitude, your perspective, and your behavior. And if you believe someone or something is dangerous, then you're vulnerable to fear and anxiety informing your thoughts and your behaviors. Rather than love informing, fear and anxiety are informing you. So while it's important to know what our physical senses tell us about the environment, it's important to know how to understand the greater context, the greater picture. Now, when you see others as problematic or dangerous, look out further, expand your context, shine love's light into their darkness to see your safety beyond their impact on you. Love's impact is greater than the impact of anything else, even when you can't see the impact with your physical senses. When you know this, then you have internal safety, no matter the external situation. To have peace in your mind and in your heart, see beyond errors and beyond blame, beyond finances, beyond politics, and beyond prejudices. Let your love shine through you because of what is in your heart. You may have to create love's boundaries and personal boundaries to be filters for your protection, allowing love in and out, but not allowing the toxic in. Your divine love is needed in the world. You are needed in the world. Do not let your ability to love be stifled by hate from you or judgment from you or hate for you or judgment for you. Be filled with love's light. In all circumstances, trust the wisdom of love. Feel into your heart to know how to be fearless and how to be loving. To know how to respond in circumstances that appear to be overwhelming when only seen with eyes of fear. Do not be dependent on someone else's agenda. When you watch the media, when you, are, when you see real life drama, when your own life feels overwhelming, you need to know what to trust. Go into your heart and find love. Trust love's wisdom there in your heart. Now, I want to tell you about a man who trusted love's light. He was a refugee from the Middle East. He and his parents were immigrants from another country. His circumstances were really difficult. Poverty, oppression, prejudice, violence, racism. And based on circumstantial evidence, it appeared that he would not overcome his difficulties. He wasn't welcome in the new country. But despite his low status, he trusted a larger divine context. His love's light made a wonderful difference in the new country where he lived and in the world. He didn't hate his oppressors. He loved them. This was his love's light shining to all. He saw unity. He was strong because he used love's light to see and to understand the world in which he lived. Do we do this? He said it's best if we do and that there are no exceptions. Remember that the same light of love is in each of us, and each of us is embedded into it. <laughs> there are no exceptions. You're not an exception. This love consciousness is in all. Find it, and you find the heart of love. This refugee loved the people that we would call his enemies, and he treated them with love. He said that our love is our only true protection in the world. Be protected in love. Love is unity, and you're embedded into love's unity. Love is your shield, and love is your reward. Now, the name of the refugee, by the way, was Jesus. Do not put any faith in fear. Fear limits love's light. Expect love to protect you. Love's light is your protection against the illusion of darkness. Through a lens of fear, life feels pointless, efforts useless, motivations can feel wasted. 
Darkness can soak everything. What you know is true of love, that it heals all, that it protects you, that it is never overwhelmed and it is never scarce. These things may not seem to fit with what you see happening around you, but what you see is not all there is to see. Circumstantial evidence is limited. It does not show you the greater context from light's revelation. There is always the larger context, the higher purpose, the unfolding of your and the world's next growth in wisdom and in love. Eyes exposed to bright light after being in darkness can become overwhelmed at first. A person may feel overwhelmed and overexposed when light illuminates a dark and difficult place. When light exposes vulnerability or pain, it may feel awkward and risky and scary and dangerous and uncertain, but light doesn't cause pain. It illuminates areas that require attention and healing. Light enables you to see hidden issues that when healed and resolved will empower you and empower the world. If you don't trust the wisdom of love, then you limit your role in bringing the light of peace and love into the world. You're needed. If you believe that you know all there is to know about a concern, you'll block love's light from working through you. You'll block yourself from the light and blind yourself from the very light that you seek. You have the power to shine the light of peace and love into illusions of darkness. Don't hide the sacred ability. Don't let your concerns block you from it. Invest yourself in peace and love and you will make an everlasting difference to all. So be aware that love's conscious connections create unity. Harmony is realized when one awakens to inner light and then connects with the same light in all other beings. This light knows the existence of love in each life. Project this heart light into your thoughts and then manifest it in all of your connections, your connections with all of life, and your connection with each life that you encounter. And here is peace. In a letter about love's consciousness, a man named Paul uh, wrote to some people in Corinth, Greece, again, around 2000 years ago. And he wrote, quote, love is patient, love is kind. He later goes on writing, love rejoices with the truth it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And later he writes, for we know in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. Then later he writes, now I know in part, and then I shall know fully, even as I am known, even as I am fully known. If you would like to see more videos about relationships, about love's power, and about communication, it is free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Welcome.